It's been a month-long hunt for the elusive psychic at the center of one of the longest-running cons in history. And it all led us to this gate in a tiny town in the south of France. A quick recap. The elderly French psychic Maria Duval is accused by the U.S. government of being the face of a more than $200 million mail fraud scheme. Duval's face and name have been on millions of letters sent around the world, promising good fortune for those who pay for psychic guidance. We needed to speak with the woman herself, so we went to France. our search in the dusty archives of the local newspaper, hoping to find proof that the psychic really exists. All the collections from the end of the World War II. Uh, we're in 78, October, October, October. <laughs> so this is September 1977. Uh, have a look. Where is it? Voila! Yes, there it is! So what does it say? It, it says somebody lost and the family uh, gave to this woman, Maria Duval, uh, just a photo, you know, of the man who has been lost in the forest, you know. Uh -huh. uh, just looking, looking at the photo, she was able to find uh, the person She's, uh, what do you say in English, when somebody has some, some, a sixth sense, you know, somebody uh, mm. a power. 1st October 92, 1st October 92. Alors. Okay, hello, Maria Duval, voila. With a sorcerer, is a witch. A witch. With a witch, it's a gentle, gentle, it's a gentle witch. Gentle witch. Gentle witch. She lives Paris and this is stars for Calas. Calas is a small village. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very small village. So we drove there, a tiny town of only 1,700 people. Someone here must know her. We asked around. Alors, c'est une voyante que l'on ne voit jamais. Ça fait 33 ans que j'habite ici. Ça fait 10 ans que je travaille ici. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler de cette femme. Oui, bah c'est elle, oui, bah d'accord, mais... Mais oui, c'est une voyante. Oui, c'est une voyante, c'est une voyante qu'on n'a jamais vue. Personnellement, je ne la connais pas, physiquement, je ne l'ai jamais vue. Ça fait quelques années qu'elle habite ici, mais voilà, elle reste discrète. So she had been famous for being a psychic, but how did her name get on all those letters? Back at our hotel, we called the closest people to her we could find. Allô Hello, Françoise. Oui. First, her former secretary, who also used to be the mayor of this small town. She defended Duval's integrity. Loyal et compétente. Elle, elle a quand même un, un pouvoir de, de divination, de, de, de projection dans l'avenir extraordinaire. Elle m'a dit vous serez mère, Françoise, et j'ai été mère. Elle, elle envoyait pas de lettres, non Qui, oh, qui, ça, qui Je ne sais pas parce qu'elle avait sa société qui s'occupait d'elle. Nous pensons, notre hypothèse, c'est qu'ils ont utilisé son nom pour des choses qui ne sont, sont pas très bonnes. Hein? Ah, ah c'est possible, oui, oui. Ils oui, ont oui. mal utilisé son nom, c'est ça oui, que nous oui, pensons. Oui, 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 elle, elle me disait, il y a longtemps, elle me disait, oh là là, je n'ai euh, pas toujours le contrôle sur eux, et c'est vrai, oui, oui. Did Duval really lose control of the way her name was being used? Her family says yes. We even met with Duval's son who claimed she sold the rights to her name many years ago. These companies, they are like the godfather. I have an offer you cannot refuse. And the men that run them? They are money people who make money to make money and more money. More money than his mother received over the years, he insisted. And when we spoke with Duval's sister, she seemed shocked to hear about these letters. I mean, she was appalled. She was like, I can't believe that they're doing this. And when I said, look, they're sending letters, they say, I have great visions for you, and then they ask for money, and she was like, that's a scam. <gasps> she said oh that's a scam. She said, that's a scam. So Maria Duval's sister called the letters a scam. scam. 
We talked to so many people, her family members, her gardener, her business manager, even the man who installed her pool. But Maria Duval remained as elusive as ever. We can't find her. We can't get to her. There are so many layers kind of guarding her. She's still the mysterious psychic that we just can't get to. Even when we're in her town, even when we're in front of her house. Remember the gate we were standing in front of? We were told Duval herself wouldn't speak with us, but we had to try anyway. As quickly as the gate opened, it closed. Was it her? Yes. Bonjour, je suis Madame Maria Duval. Non, elle n'est pas là pour le moment, Madame. Que voulez-vous? Bon, nous sommes de journalistes. Nous avons des questions pour elle. Madame Duval est un homme. Pardon, je n'ai pas entendu à cause de des automobiles. J'ai des chiens qui sont qui sont qui sont là tués. Je ne pas ouvrir. Excusez-moi, mais j'étais je, je, je au téléphone. Ok, mais, mais votre nom, madame Juste pour savoir à qui j'ai parlé. Allô, madame Madame Was it Maria Duval It wasn't. Whether she was avoiding us, away on vacation, or too sick to be interviewed, we'll never know. What we do know is that Maria Duval really exists. But is she the victim her son says she is? Or is there still a chance that she's been an eager participant in the scheme all along? Either way, her name is like a runaway train. It could continue long after the real Maria Duval is gone. Especially if people keep getting rich from it.